My name is Joel Hickerson from Grindog.com, and we're going to draw a very simple elephant. All right, to start with, we want to make sure we have enough room for all of our elephant parts on this paper. So we'll start with the body and draw a big round ellipse for the elephant's body. Now, an elephant has a big head, so we're also going to draw a big circle for the elephant's head. Four legs, one, two, three, four. A trunk, which comes out from the head. Two half circles are more than sufficient. Eyeballs, uh, as a cartoon elephant, we're going to put the two eyes kind of together. The ears can be big circles too, and we'll draw them on each side of the head. Make a happy elephant. A tail, maybe. And we'll thicken up the legs. Now, to do perspective on these legs, we can even come back and we'll move the front leg to the back and the third leg to the back when we do it, uh, our finished drawing. Now, to do the finished drawing, we're going to put up our pencil, grab our marker, and come back and trace just the lines we want. What we've just completed with the pencil are the construction lines. So we're going to come back with our dark marker and start at whatever's forward, like the ear. Come back to the head. Maybe you can put a little hair on the head. Another ear. Through the eyeball. Trunk. The other eye. Again, you don't even have to follow these construction lines. They're more of guides than they are uh, finished lines. Draw the body. Now remember, we're putting the first leg behind, so we take the body line right over the leg. The second one's in front, so we're going to put the leg line over the body. The third leg is in behind, so we move the, leg, the body line over the leg. And the last leg is in front, so we bring that leg forward. All right, then draw the back. Draw a little tail on our elephant. Maybe it's wagging it a little bit. And now, if you've done your job right, you can come back with your eraser and get rid of your construction lines. Now remember, when you draw your construction lines, to so do them very lightly to make this part easier and faster. On a simple elephant, the lines are very basic. But if you want to, once you've finished erasing, you can come back and add little details, like maybe he had tusks or toenails, maybe a wrinkle or two underneath, or even some grass where he's sitting. And that's how you draw a simple elephant.